I left you in the last video with sort of an intuitive sense of how you might write things down. If you wanted to write a simple song, you might, you know, just write A, F, G, A, or something. But that's not very precise, because, like we said, A could be a bunch of different A's on the keyboard. It could be any one of those, or, or a couple more. And whoever is trying to read your music won't know which A to press. You know, and, and, and there's sort of notations where you can have capital A is higher than lower A. But it, it's, it's hard to read, and it's not very precise, and, y you know, this, this isn't very good. If you, if you have a really simple melody, it might work. But the way that we've devised to write these things down is, uh, you know, in ancient times, they, they were able to play songs, and they wanted to say, oh, I wanted to share this with someone else. So they found a way to write it down, and I think it's sort of took a while to evolve, and then it's been pretty steady since. But we have five lines, and that's sort of the backbone of this. And let's see. Well, it starts off with a line here. And then, let's see, we have, we have one line for sort of the higher notes and one line for sort of the lower. Um, uh, just for simplicity, I'll write this in now. You've probably seen this symbol, and I'll explain what it means at some point in here, but um, j just think of this as meaning sort of the higher half. Like you're going to have you're going to have a set of five lines and then a little space and then five more and this is the top half and there's this other thing for the bottom half and they're kind of connected. Uh, that's, that's all you need to know for right now. Um, so then to start writing music you're gonna you're just gonna write notes on here. Like you sort of fill it in and they can either be in between the lines like this, or they can be on the lines like that. And I'll give myself more room. Um, and each of these lines and spaces, you know, ev every space and every line counts as a note. And and the way that we sort of remember them is the spaces go F A. C, E, ascending, like uh, they spell face is the easy way to remember it. And, and and the reason that we picked those, or, you know, the reason that that works out is because the letters in between fill in nicely, F, G, and then like we said, there there is no H or anything, it just starts over at A, and then B goes with this line, G goes with that, C, D, goes with that line, and you know, A, B, C, D, E, F again. Goes with that line. And then I, I'm sure you can guess what might go here. It's going to be an E. And, you know, so the little song I wrote is C, B. So let's hear. It's not a very good song. Um, then, let's see. Well, I, I could, um, you know, if you want something to go above you know, if you want something above this F, what are you going to do? The, the fact that this is capital and that isn't doesn't mean anything, and I just wrote them. But I if you, you know, you can have this F, and then you want your next note to be a little higher, um, you know, you could put one here. And if you want it higher than that, you have to just put in a little short line, just a little bit wider than the note you're going to draw, and then you can draw that there. And same thing if you want to go below, you draw a little note here, or a little, a little line to hold your note, and these are called ledger lines. Ledger. And, you know, that, that just sort of expands it a little bit, and if you were to go, I'll go back to this, there's a little, there's one ledger line in between the two sets of five, the two um, staves. So, uh, treble clef is what this is called and the bass clef is the bottom one, which I didn't draw very well, but it's just sort of just like that, and two little dots. I'm having trouble do drawing dots with this program, but um, so there's one ledger line in between, and this is middle C. That's sort of important to know. Middle C is that, 
I need a new color by now. Uh, so middle C is right in the middle of the keyboard. If you walk up to a piano and you, well, you have to find C, so you're going to find two black notes, all right? And let's see, that, that doesn't look right. I'm not able to draw very well, but uh, there we go. So you find two black notes, and then you press this one, and if it's right in the middle of the keyboard, that's middle C, and that's that's what I like to use as a base for things. It, it just makes nice, simple, clean sense, but, y you know, of course you have to do other things to make interesting music. That, that sounds kind of boring if you only use the one thing. So, in the next one I think I'll talk about how to add rhythm, because right now our song is it doesn't have any rhythm written, it's just... and and you don't know how long to hold the first... you don't know how long to hold the C or how long to hold the B. You could, you know, you could do... you could just hold the B forever. You, 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 there's no indication right now of how long to play it, and I don't, <laughs> it's not just that you write really wide notes or anything like that. I'll, I'll get to that in the next video, so stay tuned.